Sailing's pretty simple really. You get a cockpit with a wheel and a winch from where to steer. We're going to try something a bit different. We're going to go sailing on this new spaceship, the Broad Blue Rapier 550, which puts all of that inside the boat in a bridge. So all the steering and all the sailing systems are inside. Apparently, it'll be more simple then. It's sailing, Jim, but not as we know it. Okay, okay tacking. Slight problem when you do tack is that obviously you lose a lot of speed on the multi hull so we go from 10 knots down to 3 knots or 2 knots and no one's really had to do anything no one's had to move and she will she's a very light boat so you do feel her pick up speed and accelerate very easily just pulling up the traveller now Back up to seven knots. So this must be the easiest way to uh, sail up the Solent than I think I've ever done. Sailing along at ten knots in ten knots at the moment, ten knots true. A um, couple of hours from Portsmouth, just past Cowes now. And this is the comfort that I'm doing it in as well. You can control very easily. Uh, jib winch here, main sheet winch, and the traveller, which is really the power button. So everything's to hand. Uh, you don't have to move from here at all. But for those that do feel disconnected, and you really do, it is a very foreign feeling trying to drive a boat like this, as you can probably imagine. So those that do feel disconnected, there's this option. Follow me. And you come out here. Push a little button here and take over helm and tiller. So for people like me and, and probably most sailors who, who would feel very disconnected from trying to sail a boat from in front of a mast from a little steering wheel, not being able to see the sail plan, this is a real benefit. This, this changes things because Tiller steering a 55 foot cat, you've got full view of the sails and you've also got full control of them still. Because just here you've got the jib sheet, the main sheet and the traveller so you can depower the main easily and you can trim the boat. No one's had to do anything and it's really quite good fun. So this really is the heart of the boat. A big carbon compression post around which you've got all of the, the clutches and it's these two that we've been talking about most of the time, the two reversible winches because you've got the main sheet and the jib sheet on and that means you can have control of the boat from around the different places we've shown. The, tail, the tails of the halyards and the sheets go straight into bins here. Water is designed to run straight off them out of the bottom of the boat. And this here is worth pointing out. This is uh, the, the electronic crew, mem crew member, really. It's upside up, a uh, French company that produce it, and it, and it takes the NMEA data from the boat, uh, and it's designed to depower the boat if you don't do it in time. So you can set the tolerance levels, and the first thing it'll do is give you an alarm if it, if it surpasses that. It'll then let the traveler off, to, uh, to a limit that you set as well and it will then rewind the, the winches if you've still done nothing so it, it really does uh, take the worry out of overpowering a multi-hull. 
on pretty much every yacht you're used to going on, there's fundamentally different areas. Saloon, then you walk into a cockpit, and then you walk back to where the sailing systems are, and you go to a galley and everything. The beauty about this design is, apart from the, the holes where you actually do the accommodation and sleeping, everything is in this, uh, this open plan area. And, and the reason for this, largely, is to do with saving weight. So you don't need two sets of tables for the, and, and chairs for the saloon and the cockpit. You go from, from sailing here, galley there, you've just got this huge leisure area, which would, if you think about it on a normal catamaran, you'd have a, a big heavy hard bimini over it, just creating this secondary cockpit. But here, you've got all these Constantina doors and windows in the skylight to create that much area. This is uh, in the aft part of the port hull, you've got uh, a service room, essentially, so the, the noisy, vibrating, smelly things come in here. Um, engine, gen set up, uh, uh, charger inverters, uh, compressors, that sort of thing. It also gives you a nice little workbench area as well. So does the Rapier 550 work? She's certainly been designed and built well by, by Multimarine in Cornwall. Edgy, modern looking boat. But I think the question most people will be asking is, can you sail a yacht from inside like this? I was a, a skeptic and after sailing her today on lots of different angles and the answer is you get used to it. It's different. Uh, it does work. And if you do want the sailing sensation, you can go to use a tiller at the aft as well, which I think is a very credible thing to have. Um, but she'll fulfill a brief of a blue water passage making, going long distance cruising, eating away the miles from about as comfortable a position as you'd want to have. There, is, there are aspects that you will definitely need to get used to. It would be a lot easier for a, for a motorboat type owner coming to, to a sailing boat for the first time to get used to this sort of boat as it probably would a sailing boat owner, but it works and uh, it's good fun.